If your boom hurts and it hurts real bad, or if you have feelings that are making you sad, then it's okay, it's okay to cry. My oh my, what is a SJW to do on the 4th of July? It's not like they're going to get together with friends and family and go to a barbecue or take in a fireworks show or go to the parade or the carnival or the fair. That would be, that would be giving in to the patriarchy, the systematic oppression of minorities. After all, the 4th of July celebrates enslaving black people and genociding noble Native Americans. It's well known, it's an established fact, that everybody that celebrates the 4th of July is a racist. So as a social justice warrior, being in tuned with that, you'd never celebrate it. You would you'd barricade yourself in the house. You'd lock the doors and close the blinds and just cry yourself into a cup of whatever shit you bought at fucking Starbucks the night before. But then again, if you're on a roll, why stop when you're ahead? I mean, it's only been two weeks since the massively successful hashtag campaign on Twitter and Father's Day. We all remember that one. And all those feminists and social justice warriors really took it to the patriarchy and didn't look like complete fucking retards for walking into an obvious trap. Not at all. The only people that would say that would be racist, homophobic, transphobic bigots. It was a success. And Father's Day is done with. So if you're riding high on something like that, why just lock yourself in the house on this horribly oppressive holiday? No, you need to one-up yourself. You need to take the fight right to the fucking heart of the patriarchy, to the most misogynistic shithole on the internet that you possibly could. 4chan. Why not? Let's go after 4chan. What could go wrong? It's never been done before. Nobody's ever tried to go after 4chan before. And it's obviously guaranteed to be successful. I mean, look at how well they did with End Father's Day. Clearly, this is a brilliant idea. And that is exactly what they decided to do. Now, you're taking a look at uh, a little image macro that was floating around for two to three weeks, maybe a month before the 4th of July. And uh, this was put up on Tumblr. Obviously, the HQ, the headquarters for every SJW on the internet at this point. They use Twitter, but they live at Tumblr. That's like their home base. And look at this useful information. What's happening? There's this place called 4chan. They call themselves anonymous. Literally one of the worst places online. They're racist, misogynistic, and pure evil. Very bad people go there to shout hate speech. Elliot Roger and Zimmerman were 4chan users. Literal Nazis literal, not figurative, literal Nazis and far-right racists use brainwashing. They tell lies about homosexuals and always use fag. They erase every identity in the name of white supremacy. They have killed people with trolls and discuss terrorism often. July 4th, hashtag shut down 4chan. This has good idea written all the fuck over it. I mean, I'm going to be honest here. It's a shameful part of my past. But I've been to 4chan before, and I know the kind of boards that fucking hellhole has. Let me tell you something. Boards like CK are dedicated to talking about how horrible black people are. All they ever say is the word nigger. That's all they discuss at every thread on CK. CK is a terribly racist board. And for those out there that don't really understand it, each of the, the boards is represented by an abbreviation. So CK stands for child killers. They think that's edgy. It's really, it's fucking terrible. It's just as bad as toy, which is troll old and young alike. I don't know why they didn't put the A on the end. They don't give a shit. They're too busy talking about bombing government buildings on that board to really care about anything else. By this point, it's a pretty well-established fact that every single board on 4chan is just rife with anti-Semitism and racism and homophobia. You've got boards like GIF, right, which is Gay Intifada, G-I-F. It's, it is horrible. All they talk about is murdering trannies and gay people. So I get it, Tumblr. I understand, as the brave social justice warriors you are, why this would be a brilliant idea for you, especially after End Father's Day, which was another brilliant idea you totally had and came up with. And of course, with such a brilliant idea, it couldn't possibly fail. It went just like you would expect it to. <laughs> Get you, bitch. Now, sure, you might say, well, wait a minute, their raid only lasted 30 to 40 minutes. They went to poll and to B and to V, and then they fucked off back to Tumblr. What happened? 
Well, they learned a valuable lesson. You can't out shitpost a professional. And if 4chan is anything, it is comprised of professional shitposters. The amount of shit flinging that takes place in threads on every board is monumental. And Tumblr found that out pretty quickly. But it's an A for effort. I mean, they stood up to the bully, they went to the patriarchal homeland, and they said, hey fuckers, you're not gonna, you don't intimidate us, we're not afraid of you. And we all know that when you stand up to something like 4chan and tell them you're not afraid, they're gonna back off. They, they can't handle that. They'll, they'll run with their tails between their legs. That is the strategy that works on the internet when you're being harassed, is to confront the person harassing you and tell them to go fuck themselves. So all is well, right? I mean, Tumblr did its raid and they showed those fuckers and, well, here we are, right? It's a successful celebration of putting down those misogynist pigs. Uh, except for this small fact that after Tumblr decided to leave, 4chan thought, maybe we'll follow them. Maybe, maybe we'll go to Tumblr and see if we can have some fun. Let's have an intellectual, honest discussion because I want to be educated about how much of a shitlord I am. So let's take a look at some of those post-victory Tumblr posts. Let's let's see them gloat about how much they showed those fuckers as 4chan comes to Tumblr, you know, to beg for forgiveness. Uh, here's a good one. This is what I woke up to this morning. Okay, 4chan, first it was annoying. Now it's destructive and cruel. This is not a raid. This is destroying self-esteem and making people feel like shit. And also, threatening rape? I'm 13, and this makes me want to wretch at the behavior these dunderfucks are showing. They purposefully want to disrupt people and make them feel uneasy or make them go into a fucking panic attacks. I'm taking this as well as all sorts of shit, because this is so wrong. Also, I'm sorry about the 4th of July post, Sil. I need to clean out the queue. Hashtags 4chan, 4chan raid, abuse, and suicide. Here's another one that uh, has a screen cap of the definition of cyber terrorism from Wikipedia. At the top of it, followed by this. Hey, 4chan, do you mind reading that out for me? Because I'm not sure it's clear enough. Oh wait, now I get it. This is exactly what you're doing here, on Tumblr. Cyber terrorism. So I sincerely hope you enjoy having a record with the FBI, and for any of you wondering, 4chan has decided for quite literally shits and giggles to raid all of us here on Tumblr with the intent to cause mass panic attacks across the board using triggering content, such as extreme real-life gore, rape images, animal cruelty, etc. So please... So please, guys, avoid the tags for now and report this shit to the officials if you know how. Hashtags SNK, Feminism, Feminist, AOL, Free. Here's a post with 87,000 notes. 4chan is planning on hacking accounts. If you see this somewhere on my blog, this means I'm not a 4chaner. If I start to post gore or porn, that is not me. I have been hacked. If you want to reblog this, take a screenshot of it on your blog so that you have solid proof. Here's a post from Thoughts That Fly. This 4chan shit, I'm over it. Basically, every tag I go through is filled with awful things, or irrelevant cute things. Don't get me wrong, I prefer cute things, obviously, and I understand we jewel flood the tags. But there's no longer anywhere to have relevant feminist discussions because the tag is filled with kittens. So Tumblr... <laughs> wow. So Tumblr isn't serving its purpose at all, and I'm annoyed. Hashtag just marry ableism 4chan fuckers ugh. Here's one from calling out bad feminism. So I just got off the phone with the FBI. They are already investigating 4chan and have found Photoshop porn of a minor selfies, which means arrests will be made. If you are rating, stop. You can face arrest. If you are supporting the rating, stop. Number one. Hashtags 4chan raid, 4chan, signal boost, and feminism. And another from Rebecca the Fallen Angel. Petition to shut down 4chan. And there's a link to a whitehouse.gov petition. Everyone, it is imperative that you sign this petition. It could shut them down and stop the hate and bullying they spread. They've already tried to ruin Tumblr with their filth by using our tagging system. They've already tried to ruin Tumblr with their filth by using our tagging system. Now they're hacking accounts and posting as the user. Sign the petition, reblog the post, and signal boost. These people need to be stopped. Hashtags signal boost, bullying, petition, and Tumblr. And 24,000 notes. That must have an immense amount of signatures. I bet if we went to take a look at that petition right now, it would have so many signatures on it, Fort Moot's going to have to shut down the website. Well, here's the petition at whitehouse.gov. Uh, shut down 4chan. There's a faction inside the 4chan community that is in favor of pornography, child gore, and non-consensual abuse, bullying, and other crimes against human and animal rights. If there are not enough reasons to put these people in jail, at least we could prevent them from spreading hate and cyberbullying. 
I say that site should be shut down. And it's got a whopping 192 signatures, reblogged 24,000 times, and it's got 192 signatures. Boy, Tumblr, you don't fuck around. When social justice warriors say they're going to get something done, that's really what they're just going to do is say it, because they sure as shit aren't actually accomplishing a fucking thing. The only way that could be more embarrassing is if somebody on 4chan started their own petition that got more signatures. Oh wait, they did! A petition on change.org that's asking that all users of Tumblr be labeled as mentally handicapped land whales, and currently has 2,159 supporters. It's like, what, 20 times the amount that Tumblr had. Here's another totally not worried post by Celestial Agender. If you have selfies in the tags that were spammed trying to clear it up, delete them now. They are planning on putting not safe for work things on them and sending them back to you with your real name and such. Please, for the love of God, delete your selfies. Hashtags rape culture, patriarchy, other kin, and social justice warrior. Things are going well, I have a feeling at Tumblr. They've really got this on lockdown. Those those 4chan assholes don't they don't know what they're dealing with. I mean clearly, clearly, 4chan is trembling at the onslaught they faced at Tumblr and the brave front they've put up in resistance to these bigots. It's not like they're compiling image after image, mocking and deriding them, and taking pleasure in their tears. They would never do that. I mean, just take a look at this defiance. Listen up. Please, 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 listen up. If you are in the feminism tags, Supernatural, Sherlock, John Locke, or other popular tags, get the hell out. 4chan is trying to take over Tumblr, and they are posting disgusting things gore, rape, fat shaming, and other horrors. I just went through one blog alone and I'm in legitimate tears. There are also rumors for anime such as Free, SNK, and others that will be taken over. Please, 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 if you have trigger warnings like the ones listed above or even others like anxiety or suicidal thoughts, I beg you to stay out of those tags or even Tumblr for the next several days. If you find a blog like this, add it here, and let's get them removed. I found one. PrivateCupcakes.tumblr.com Hashtags Trigger, 4chan, Please, Signal Boost, Feminism, and John Locke. Oh, these social justice warriors, they're so brave. They're so strong. Getting the word out there and telling people to run for the hills and not look at Tumblr or use the website. They've really circled the wagons. They're putting the information out there. Such as this. 4chan Raid. Do not go into any tags for the next few days. There is gore, rape, etc. in most tags. Do not post selfies. They are taking selfies from tags like hashtag selfie face and me and photoshopping them onto porn. This is illegal, especially if you are a minor. Change your password and do not log out. They are hacking accounts and making disgusting posts. Take down your submit page, especially if you have conversed with one of the spammers. Do not send spammers any messages block, ignore, etc. them, but please, for your own safety, do not send any message or contact with them in any way. Oh, these poor snowflakes. God, I really hope, I really hope one of them doesn't kill themselves because of this, because this is so triggering, you guys. I would just, it would be a shame if somebody threatened suicide. Oh, wait. I wasn't always a fallen angel post. Please read. I was up all night with people who were triggered by the 4chan raid. A lot of them didn't realize that they were having panic attacks. I want you all to know that this raid is real. To everyone specifically, the 4chan bastards, I want to tell you that one of my followers committed suicide last night. I talked to her before, and she was the sweetest girl you could ever meet. She saw two gifts that triggered her to the point that nothing I said helped. I have her phone number and talked to her over the phone. I told her to call the suicide hotline. She called me back in 20 minutes later and told me that she'd taken an entire bottle of pills. She died on the phone with me. This is real, you guys. Please stay away from the tags. There are still posts around. They are apparently planning another raid in August. Please be careful with your selfies and pictures of loved ones. They are collecting them into pornographic material. If this happens, write down the blog name, the URL, and save the image. Contact the police immediately. These guys can be charged with slander, defamation, and pedophilia if you're a minor. As for guys from 4chan, I hope you know you ended at least one innocent life last night. You are the Earth's lowest scum, and I hope you burn in the deepest pits of hell. Hashtag female feminist supernatural Dr. Who locked Dr. Who, Whovian, and Sherlock. 
clearly the people in the Doctor Who community on Tumblr desperately need to know that people are dying over gifts on Tumblr. God, those, those evil 4chan bastards, how could they do this? Well, mission accomplished social justice warriors. You really showed 4chan who's boss. I mean, sure, your raid didn't really work, and they turned it around on you, and now you've been driven to suicide and hysterics as you run away from the website you love so much. But don't worry, I'm sure threatening to call the police is going to have a, 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 an immediate effect. Well, I remember one time where something similar happened. Okay, you guys, this is Jesse Slutter, and you I know just what? wanted to say that you guys have ruined my life. First, I'm going to tell you right now, bad. this is from her father. You bunch of lying, no good punks, and I know who it's coming from because I've backtraced it, Jeez. and I know who's emailing and who's doing it, and you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police. You so you better more. write one more thing or screw with my computer again, you'll be arrested. You End of conversation from her father. You write it yeah. fucking gonna come and beat her ass. And if you come near my daughter, guess what? Consequences will never be the same. You lying bunch of pricks. And it worked out so well for these people. She's a drug addicted whore now, and he's dead. So this was a great idea. I only see positive outcomes from this. Why, you're going to be able to, to list your name up there with those other sites that have successfully shown 4chan who's boss, like Gaia Online or Ebombs World. Uh, you know, the real the real high-tier stuff, 9gag. You know, all those sites that really taught them a lesson about who's boss. Good job. Smart decision. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go put myself into a medically induced coma and wait two weeks until I can look at all that great Doctor Who lock stuff again on Tumblr without being triggered to kill myself.